Okay, we're all here, ready to go. It's going to be part three from my U series. You, because this is for the collective, all of us, me, you. We're all interconnected, very important, you know. We're all under the same skies, same moon, sun, planets. We have a lot of different things in our chart. So what makes this series different is because I'm away from my home base, I don't have all my pieces, these 3D pieces here. I only have these four. There's 79 in all, and I just couldn't carry them. So I have the four elements, air, earth, fire, and water. It's mermaid. The other thing I'm doing different, I have this here. And it's called scrying. Scrying is spelled like crying with the S at the beginning. We're looking for images in here. So what I do is I take my Galaxy Note, take the little pen, the stylus, and draw over a shot of this. Show you different things I see. I have quite a few for this one. I'll just pick one. And we'll see if that relates to the reading. So you can go back, look at that, take a screenshot. I'll show you later. So we're going to use charms. We're going to use cards. We're going to use my do-it-yourself deck. But first, we might as well do this. It's on the table. So let me tell you what I see here. I'll use this pencil to point things out. And what I'm looking for is to see if this corresponds, relates to things we pull out later. So here's what I, well, here's what I see. Right here, this is the profile of a face. This is the neck. And the head goes around. And that's the eye right there. And these are like leaves. Which I'm not sure what they mean. Maybe we'll figure it out. It's almost like ideas sprouting out could be plants but they look like leaves to me and then here we have another profile this one's harder to see right now but the profiles here this is the head the nose the mouth the chin the neck kind of spiky hair do right here and they're like talking to each other. One's white with no hair. One's dark with spiky hair. Over here, this looks like a bat to me. Some kind of creature. See those two wings? And up here is where the head is. Then there's this figure right here. The last thing I'm going to talk about right now is this figure. Okay, I'm going to take this out now. I think we should get a do-it-yourself card. No, let's do this. Let's do the charm first. So all the charms. Okay, we got something here. What is that? It's a horse. Beautiful. Could be for Sagittarius. We'll put this up here in the center. All right, let's get to do-it-yourself cards. On top was fly. That's the leftover. That's been there a while. There's quite a few of these. I never counted them. And they're very thick. It's a little hard to shuffle. I'm a lousy shuffler anyway. I don't think it matters. But. My family never played cards when we were kids. My aunts and uncles taught me how to play. What's that called? Solitaire? Yeah. When I was really young. 
forgot all about that. One more time. All right, let's see what we get. Well, we'll take those wherever they are. Let's see what's on the bottom. Nervous. Somebody feeling nervous? What else do we get? It's a nice message. I like it. It's almost like it could be in any order, except I like that work it first. Yeah, it's almost like action, you know? Take action, work it. If that horse represents Sagittarius, that would be uh, fire. So work it, because it's destined. Might as well work it if it's already destined. Why fight it? Fighting the universe is a losing proposition, right? And then we also need to think about things. We need to balance. We need to balance our thoughts, not overthink things. We need to act. We need to pray. Manifest. Uh, what else could you say for that? Pray could be healing. Pray could be giving thanks or asking for help. We'll see as we get some more cards here. I want you to screenshot this though, because I'm going to have to move them out of the way. I'll put them on the side where I can read them though. To refer back to them. We have work it and we have a horse. Workhorse. Somebody's a workhorse. They like it. They want to be a workhorse. But somebody's nervous too. We got to remember we had that nervous card. All right, so let's get a card. Let's get one big main card. We'll, we'll look at these. Uh, we'll, we'll try to get one of these Visconti cards. Madrone. Visconti Madrone. Beautiful, aren't they? It's crazy. This is in reverse. It's the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to try shuffling. Oh, I can't shuffle. I can't shuffle normal. I tried it already. Can't do it. So I got to do this. Again, it doesn't matter. I mean, if we get the same car I had last time, I'll let you know, but I don't think so. The odds are against it. These are huge. Let me show you something. I'm going to show you what a normal card looks like. Justice. I can't even fit it on camera. There you go. You can imagine why it's hard to shuffle. So we'll do it a couple more times. I'm just going to pick here. I'm just going to split the deck. Actually, I want it to go here. Let's do this. We got the Nine of Cups in reverse. Ooh. I'll have to zoom in, zoom out. Wow. Turtles looking on. Nine of Cups. We can consider that our main energy. Now it's in reverse. This is Pisces, and it's under rulership of the moon. There's some mystery involved. Desires. In Upright, it's about our desires being realized. It's a nine. It's about cups, so it has to do with love, pleasure. This is like the almost perfect, almost perfect fulfillment. Our wishes fulfilled and our, even our physical well-being. It's all about desire, but in reverse, of course, it's basically the opposite. can be being vain, you know, kind of showing off all the good stuff we have, being conceited, egotistic, or it can be the other way, you know. Well, you can show off by giving people money, helping them out, right? Doing too much. 
going to a bar, buy everybody a drink. Yeah, it can be kind of like being spoiled by having everything. That's that's reverse. Now, I don't know what this... See now, we got to remember what we already got. We got the horse. That's about working. So, hopefully, this is about somebody who worked for their money, their prosperity. And it does say work it over there. And the do-it-yourself cards. Work it. And it's destined. Yeah, some people are destined to have everything. Nine. Nine's, you know, nine's almost the top. Ten is everything. Something's missing. That's either upright or in reverse. And somebody's thinking about this. They're nervous. They've, there's an uneasiness. We don't know what exactly that is. Maybe we'll find out as we go on a little further here. Yeah, so we'll clarify this. Let's use mystical tarot. Very traditional. Not sure why I want to use this deck, but maybe it has something to do with people who... It seems to be two kind of people. Those who are destined to have money, which could mean it's an inheritance. Pass down money, right? Or it could be the opposite. People who are unafraid to take chances. They still have to work hard. And they reach a pretty high level of prosperity, get the things they want. Let's see what we get. We're going to clarify this nine. Whoop, there we go. You see the way it flipped around? That's pretty cool. I love how that happens. Oh boy, what do we have? It's in reverse. We're not getting attention. Yep, let me show you. Six of Wands. Another horse. What's going on with the horses? Everybody's watching, cheering them on. It's interesting though, those wands kind of form like a wall. Could mean a blockage almost. Maybe that's what it means in reverse. We've got two reverses, water and wands. Hmm. And in the scrying, the image we got, it's like diversity or could be arguing. They kind of look like they're arguing. Almost opposites, a white one and a dark one, right in each other's face. Strange creature, another person on the side. I actually see another person, top left. They have their mouth open, their eyes are big, they're, they're looking on. And this is all about getting attention, normally, getting the attention we deserve. When it's in reverse, it means we might be feeling like we're cheated. Like we should be getting something, we're not. A raise, something like that, you know, or... Since it's wands, it could be about creativity. Could be an artist. Maybe they... Working hard, doing great work. They don't understand what's going on. I'm not getting the money, I'm not getting the recognition. It's like nobody sees me. These days, being seen is so hard. I was just... Oh well, man, it's too quick. I write my one friend lives out of state. We write emails. And uh, we were talking about how it's so easy to get lost. There's so much noise. Too many. You can see what it got. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, we're saying, all right, take take band camp. That's where musicians put all their stuff. Famous and not so famous. But there's so many. How do you find something that fits you? The profiles don't seem to work that great. All right, we got two there. We'll take them. And here we have another wand. That's the knight. Put that on the side. We have, oh man, all reverses. That's kind of strange. A 
Light's a little bright. Oh, man. You know, when I see cards, I get a very quick impression what they mean. First thing I thought when I saw this, somebody's, somebody really wants to move away from something fast. That's what this is about. But it's not happening. I'm going to move this light a little. It's not much better, is it? What the hell? Probably too dark now. I got to move this. It's just on the wrong side. I have to admit, I'm feeling a little nervousness too. That's pretty good. Gonna have to leave it. All right, my first impression was very quick. Somebody's definitely unsatisfied. Things aren't going their way. They're working hard. They're working it, but it's not getting them anywhere. They think and think about what, what the hell is wrong? I feel like I'm doing everything right. I'm praying. It seems like this, this came to me in such a way. It feels destined, but something's not right. I still, I don't feel right about it. Something's not right. So, when that happens, somebody wants to take off. They want to get the hell out of here as fast as possible. But that's not happening. It's blocked. Same thing here. More cups, more blockage. Now, this one, you could say five of cups. See how the three cups are upright? And the other ones, I mean, two cups are upright and three are on the side, which means there's nothing in them. They, they're tipped over. It's nighttime. See stars. I don't see the moon. We talked about the moon earlier. Could be behind there, behind that seahorse. But <clears throat> those two cups, because they're cups, could represent love, a union. That somebody wants to walk away from a union because it's in reverse. But they're blocked. They can't get out of it. That's my take on it. Things are moving too slow. Desires aren't being met. The only thing upright is this. The Knight of Wands. He or she's riding that thing. There's another star and a rainbow. I don't think the rainbow signified gay power in the old days when they made these cards. But could mean that today. So put this back. Under that is the Queen of Cups upright. Lots of cups. Cups, cups, cups. Seems to be the problem here. So what we're we saying? That's the wands. Wands are of course are fire, but this one starts in Scorpio, goes through Sagittarius. It does represent the moon in Scorpio, Jupiter, a lot of energy there. Complicated. But ultimately, this one's about leaving, yeah? Going somewhere like we talked about. Somebody could be moving, or they're already moved. So maybe one person is gone, and the other person's left behind. Makes a lot of sense. Maybe the one person wants to go meet the other person. That horse reminds me of that, too. Could be family matters. I mean, there are a lot of energies here. And the scrying piece could be family members. This card's kind of important, because it's upright. And it's wands. Action. The only major that we have... It's right here. These all these all have to do with similarity. They have, they have a lot of similarities here in energy, right? This whole traveling, moving, everything here. That could make us nervous. Any change, you know, moving could be like migrating, moving, you know, like migration is change. Exploring, discovering, even searching. Kings, queens, they send these knights and pages out to do their jobs, to do their work. Send messages. They didn't have the internet or telephones. This could represent that, though, in a modern sense. This knight could be sending messages, bringing news, spreading word, spreading the word around. But this, this knight here is known for being kind of secretive because we had that moon. Very interesting. Very interesting. This has something to do with you. Let me know in the comments. Very curious. It's funny. 
could certainly be my reading. I'm on the road myself. Every card here has something to do with that. Uh, I got to go. I, hold on. Things might look different. My chip's running out now. Jeez. All right, I'm just going to wrap it up. I'm out, of, I'm out of space. I think we got a good reading here. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Love you all.